Trade quick tips. Sharpen your skills. In this Shrade Quick Tip video, we're going to show you some small but essential survival items you can pick from to create an easy-to-carry, do-it-yourself mini survival kit. You'll also pick up a few tips from our experts along the way. Whether you're on a canoe trip through a remote wilderness area or simply out for a short day hike, there are some items you just can't afford to be without. Inexpensive items, easily picked up that, in a pinch, prove indispensable. We are talking about a mini, do-it-yourself survival kit that can be easily assembled and carried in a pocket or the sheath pouch of a knife, such as the SCHF-9, SCHF-36, and SCHF-26. This is a great option for the outdoor adventurer who never leaves home without his trusty survival knife and wants the peace of mind that comes from knowing that he always has a few extra pieces of survival gear on his side just in case he runs into an unexpected turn of events around the bend. The critical parts of this kit should include items that help regulate your core body temperature by building a microclimate or shelter in a short amount of time, even while under stress or injured. Although these will likely be the bulkiest items in your mini survival kit, they are perhaps the most crucial, as overexposure is one of the biggest outdoor risks. This makes a simple emergency blanket one of the prime candidates for your kit. It's both compact and effective. Our favorite shelter item to put into a mini do-it-yourself survival kit is a 55-gallon drum liner. A drum liner is multifunctional and can be used to collect rainwater, is a makeshift shelter, or even modified to create a poncho. A compact option for emergency water purification is a one-quart freezer bag and a handful of water purification tablets. We recommend measuring and marking a 32-ounce line on the freezer bag ahead of time, as many water tablets are designed for treatment of 32 ounces of clear water. With the two bulkiest items out of the way, you can now add other components to your mini survival kit. For example, if you choose to go with a small kit to carry in a pocket, we recommend placing your emergency blanket or 55-gallon drum liner in the freezer bag together with your water purification tablets. Then add a few other items, such as a ferro rod and a petroleum jelly-infused cotton ball for starting fires. Stuff the cotton ball inside a 2-inch length of plastic straw with the ends of the straw melted to make it waterproof and conserve space in your kit. Additional kit items to consider include fishing line and hooks, a sail needle, 10 to 15 feet of cordage, snaring wire, any personal medications, and duct tape. While a do-it-yourself mini survival kit can give you an advantage in a survival situation, it's also important to have a good knowledge of outdoor skills. You can find a host of other videos in this Shrade Quick Tip series on topics that can help you sharpen your skills. But for now, be sure to click the subscribe button above to subscribe to our Shrade Knives YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ways you can connect with Shrade are in the description below, along with some other great tips and relevant info. To discover more about the gear used in this video, check out the links in the video description on YouTube, visit Shrade.com, or take a trip to your local outdoor gear retailer.